I got a couple of the Casking dry bags here today. Just going to do a quick overview and at the end I'll demonstrate the proper way to fold and seal the bags because there is a right and wrong way. Um, these are awesome products. They're great for uh, fishing, camping, hiking, kayaking, snowmobiling, uh, snow skiing, going to the beach, just a day at the pool, anything that's outdoors where you got some stuff that you want to keep it protected, safe, and dry. Um, you can put camera equipment in these. I use mine for my rain gear. It's perfect for keeping a just an extra set of dry clothes. Um, these are awesome bags. They float. They're completely waterproof. Nothing's going to get in and out. No sand, no dirt. It'll keep whatever you have in there safe and clean. Um, these are available in three different sizes. 10, 20, and 30 liter. This black one here is a 20 liter. Um, they're all available with the in this model with the see-through front panel. The 30 liter is also available in this style with the front handle and the zip compartment with the see-through panel. Good for putting in your cell phone, something like that. Um, these are made with what they call you know, high quality 500D PVC. And this stuff is used for uh, things like truck trailer covers, inflatable rafts or boats, tents and awnings, things like that. It's extremely durable material, um, completely waterproof, stain resistant, uh, anti-static, protects against UV rays. Uh, and mildew resistance. This stuff cleans up real nice and it's really strong. The 500, what that refers to is it's basically a way of quantifying the density of the material fibers. So PVC has a range from 100 to 1000. That's the range that they give. So this is right in the middle. It's basically the perfect balance between durability and I guess you could call it usability. Um, super strong, it's not going to tear or rip all at the same time. It's got enough flex and it's pliable enough that it can be manipulated and folded and uh, just user friendly. Any more than 500 it might start to get a little too uh, hard and rigid. Um, all the seams on the front, the back seams, uh, where this adjustable strap is, this is how you do the strap too. Um, all these seams on the bottom sides, uh, the back seams, they're all what they call, uh, they use a technique called fusion welding. And I guess the easiest way to describe it would be it's not too different from traditional welding with metal. The two metals are melted together. In this case, the PVC material is melted together. And what that does, it completely eliminates um, any sort of holes that you would get with traditional stitching. When you do just traditional stitching there can be a lot of little holes that's going to let water and air in and that's exactly what we're trying to eliminate with these bags. So the PVC is heated together and melted together and the fusion molding process makes it 100% airtight and watertight. Um, real, tr real quick here I'll show you the proper way to seal these. Um, First thing you want to remember when you're doing this, the most important thing, is you don't want to overfill these. If they're too full, uh, they're not going to be able to get enough rolls to get a nice seal. So I'm just going to put my rain gear on this white one here. And this is one of the coolest things with these casting dry bags. You can see at the top here, they have what they call a double closure system. This is just basically an extra layer at the top of just an extra PVC lining basically. It's oh three or four inches long from the top and this is what sets casking apart from the other dry bags. This is going to give you a 100% best-in-class waterproof system. No water is getting in and out, I can promise you that. And this is how you do it. You just lay it down and you want this extra PVC lining to be sticking out of the top of your dry bag. Take that clear lining 
and give it one fold over. And you want to fold when you're doing this. You don't want to roll these bags, you're folding. So fold that over and I like to press it down tight. Take the black, fold it over once, about a one inch fold, and every time I press down, let's do a couple more. You can do two or three folds. And at that point is when you can connect the top clip. And that's it. And as you can see, and you can listen for it here, there is no air escaping out of that when I push on it. 100% airtight, therefore watertight. Everything's going to stay protected and it's going to stay dry. So awesome products, every bit as good as advertised. You can find them on Amazon, eBay, casking.com, several places. But super affordable, great product. Check them out. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.